Hey guys, Casey Scanlon here. We just wrapped up FLW Tour Stop number two. We're here at Lake Toho and Kissimmee Chain of Lakes. Had a really good event, uh, made the top 30. Had a huge day yesterday with uh, 28 pounds and a fish over 10 pounds. So we're gonna tell you kind of what the fish were doing this week for me and how I caught them. So this week I used the uh, Johnny Morris Signature Series rod. It's a seven foot six heavy action rod. I wanted a heavy action rod and a long one to get leverage on these fish, pull them away from the cover. Uh, in Florida, you're dealing with a lot of grass, heavy cover situation, so you need a heavy action rod and a longer rod to pull them out of that cover. I used Bass Pro Shops 20 pound XPS uh, fluorocarbon. Uh, I used braided line the first day, and I feel like I lost a few fish on the braid. It just, it just didn't quite feel right. And I don't know if I got as many bites. Uh, the reason I used braid uh, was because in practice, I caught a bunch of big fish. Uh, or, or got a bunch of big bites. I caught one of about 10 pounds and shook off some more that I saw that were, that were large as well. So, you know, I came loaded for bear. I wanted to, you know, capitalize on all those bites. So I, I got braided line on, a big heavy hook, and, um, you know, I, I didn't get as many bites, I don't think. And I actually lost a few where I feel like, you know, maybe I pulled them pulled on them too hard, maybe ripped a hole in their mouth. I'm not sure, but the braid wasn't working so well for me. So yesterday I made a switch to the uh, Bass Pro Shops fluorocarbon and uh, you know was able to catch those fish. Basically through a Lucky Strike Pow stick. This is a green pumpkin, uh, but it's a six inch stick worm. I was actually throwing uh, June bug in color. Uh, this is a Lucky Strike Con Man worm. Caught a few on this as well. It's a little bit uh, more of a finesse style worm but I was dealing with big fish, so I wanted you know, kind of a bigger profile. So I used this exact worm, except it was in this color. I caught a lot of fish this week, and today I actually ran out of, uh, of the pal sticks in, uh, in June Bug. But June Bug was really key. Seems like June Bug, black and blue, darker colors are just better here in Florida. Uh, sunny days, you know, watermelon red seems to work pretty good, but I was dealing with a little bit darker water. I fished Kissimmee the whole week, and uh, the water was off colored down there, so I went with a little darker colored worm. Uh, quarter ounce weight. This is a Bass Pro Shops tungsten sinker, uh, just a worm sinker with a bobber stop and a Hayabusa FPP straight shank 5 out hook. Uh, this is a big, heavy hook. Really good for 20 pound, 15 pound fluorocarbon, braided lines. Um, I was dealing with big fish. That straight shank hook has a big gap right there, so it helps hook those fish and it doesn't flex. You know, and when you're dealing with fish that weigh up to 10 pounds, you need a hook that you can put a big hook set into, pull lean on those fish real hard, pull them away from the cover, and it's not going to flex and it's not going to tear out of their mouth. So, a uh, Hayabusa FPP straight shank hook. Um, and that was the setup, man. I was flipping lily pads, you know, probably two to four feet deep. And the more isolated, the better. And the ones that had a um, little bit of hydrilla mixed in with them, not a lot of hydrilla, but just a little bit, uh, were even better. And what was happening was those fish were pulling up to spawn in the lily pads, and I'd flip this worm in there and just fish it real slow. And I'd kind of try to envision um, a bed where I was fishing at. So if there was a hole in the lily pads or something like that, I would kind of envision it being a bed and I would let my bait sit there a little bit longer. And the more I fished there and the more fish I caught and uh, the more I kind of went through these pads, I could actually start feeling kind of the open spots in that hydrilla, the open spots in the pads. And it led me to believe that um, you know, that's where the beds were. And it seemed like those areas were replenishing every day, uh, even hourly with new fish. And unfortunately today, um, they were just a little bit smaller. Caught a lot of fish. I shouldn't say caught a lot of fish, but got a lot of bites. Um, you know, we had a little bit different weather today. Sun is always good here in Florida. And today we had a lot of wind, a lot of clouds. So they just didn't really get under the lily pads and pull up quite as good as, as we had expected. But awesome week. And uh, this setup right here, Bass Pro Shops Tungsten, use as light a weight as you can get away with. I kind of varied my weights depending on the conditions. Today I went a little bit heavier. But uh, quarter ounce weight, Hayabusa 5 aught FPP straight shank hook, and the Lucky Strike Pal Stick, the deadly combination this week. Just uh, Texas rig it right like that, get it weedless, throw it right in the middle of those pads, and you're going to catch a lot of big fish.